Time to spit a little tea with Tony's Tea. Look at some entertainment headlines that grab my attention today. Ken Ehrlich is a producer of the Grammys, Monday Night's Grammys. He told Billboard magazine the Natalie Cole tribute, in his opinion, was appropriate. He says he thought the video clip was the most touching and emotional tribute he could have presented to his friend. He also says he was surprised at the criticism from Natalie Cole's family about the tribute. By the way, do you think the tribute was enough or not enough, appropriate or not appropriate? Take the poll at the end of this video so we can gauge what you think. Jimmy Walker, John Amos, Ralph Carter, Bernie DeSantis, and Janet Dubois are looking to raise a million dollars in 16 days on Kickstarter to make a TV movie about America's first black TV family, the Evans family. Good times. It was a big, big, big deal in the 1970s. They say on their site, from the day we walked off the set of Good Times 40 years ago, all we've heard is, when, you, when are you going to have a Good Times reunion? The Kickstarter campaign has so far raised $4,300. They've got 15 days to raise a million. Good luck. The man whose life inspired a few characters on The Wire has died. Nathan Barksdale died in a Maryland prison. Barksdale ran a heroin dealing operation in Baltimore in the 1980s and served 15 years in state prison on a battery charge. The self-professed Avon Barksdale was 54 years old. That's the T. Win Ladies' Choice concert tickets at 540 on Smooth R&B 105.7.